Excluding archaeological excavations, the last major work on Sandal Castle was ordered by Richard III in 1483, only a couple of years before he fell at the Battle of Bosworth. This year, work on the castle has resumed, this time on the stonework of its ruins. This work represents phase two of the local authorities' £700,000 renovation project on this historic monument. I thought I'd make this short video to document the work as it's been carried out, while at the same time describing the various features of the castle. Sandal Castle is an example of a Motton Bailey castle, a style of castle building introduced to England following the Norman Conquest. The Bailey component of the castle is simply its courtyard, containing a variety of buildings. Sandal's Bailey can be seen here, on the flat area containing the two upright ruins. We'll now take a look at these. These were the castle's presence chamber and great hall. The presence chamber was like a throne room where the lord of the castle would receive visitors. The great hall was the main living and dining area. As you can see, the scaffolding is up, ready for the renovation work to begin. However, it looks like the renewal of the stonework on this part of the castle is still to be started. Other buildings that once stood on the bailey included the kitchen, larder and bakehouse. The backs of all these buildings formed part of the castle's outer wall. The wall that joined these buildings to the castle's main keep to seal the castle from the outside was called the curtain wall. Here we can see it from another angle. And up ahead is part of the curtain wall that joined the keep from the other side of the bailey. The next part of the castle's structure, surrounded by scaffolding, is the barbican. Here you can see where the renewal of the stonework has already started. The white area is where the lime mortar has been replaced. The barbican was connected to the bailey via a drawbridge that can be seen here. There was a second drawbridge that joined the outer barbican, that we've been looking at, to the inner barbican that's in front of us now. The inner barbican led up to the keep. The keep was a fortified tower at the core of the castle, and this acted as the castle's final defensive refuge. The second key component of the Mott and Bailey castle is, of course, the Mott. This is the mound into which the keep is built and is clearly represented at Sandal. Here are some views of the stonework at the top of the keep ruin. The final feature that we're going to look at is the gatehouse. This is the location of the drawbridge that connected the castle to the outside world. The bright white colour of the lime mortar indicates that quite a lot of repair work has been done to this part of the castle during the current renovation efforts. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the castle gleaming like this when the renovation project is complete.